From the radio telescope ALMA in Chile, we receive these sweet images from space. An international team of astronomers have for the first time detected in outer space a simple sugar molecule similar to the kind we put in our coffee. And fittingly, it was found in the Milky Way, about 400 light years from Earth. The molecule, glycolodehyde, can combine with other molecules to form the complex sugar that is an essential ingredient of the nucleic acids RNA and DNA, the stuff that carries life's genetic codes. Space tracking reveals that the sugar molecules are falling towards one of the stars in our system, which, according to scientists, means that the elements essential for life are at the right place at the right time. My name is Mike Callahan. I'm a research physical scientist in the Astrobiology Analytical Laboratory at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. We've discovered a variety of nucleobases and nucleobase analogs and meteorites. And what a nucleobase is, is it's a small molecule that's found in DNA and RNA, and these molecules are essential for all of life. And so our results show that these molecules are extraterrestrial in origin and the products of a chemical reaction occurring on the meteorite. We believe that these uh, nucleobases and meteorites are extraterrestrial based on three reasons. And the first is, is that uh, we find nucleobase analogs in meteorites. What a nucleobase analog is, is that it is a molecule that is structurally similar to the nucleobases you find in biology, but it's different. And that these structures are actually either rare or even absent on Earth. The second reason is, is that uh, in addition to looking at meteorite samples, uh, we also study terrestrial samples. So uh, these meteorites are collected mostly in Antarctica, and one that's very famous called Murchison was collected in Australia. So we have soil samples from that Murchison area in Australia, and we've also had, uh, we were lucky enough to get an ice sample from Antarctica where some of these meteorites were collected. And so when we look at these soil and ice samples in the laboratory, we don't see the same distribution of nucleobases. And with these nucleobase analogs, we don't see them at all in these uh, terrestrial samples. The third reason why we think these nucleobases are extraterrestrial and meteorites is that in the laboratory, we study reactions of hydrogen cyanide. And when we extract these, uh, the products from these hydrogen cyanide reactions, we also get nucleobases. And we actually get a similar suite of nucleobases to what's found in the meteorite. And so when we saw that, we were really excited because we were thinking, well, hydrogen cyanide is dispersed everywhere in the interstellar medium, and it's likely to have some sort of chemical reaction on the meteorite. And so when we saw that, uh, that really convinced us a lot that we're seeing something from a chemical reaction rather than some sort of biological contamination coming into the meteorite. So this has implications for the origin of life on Earth. Uh, we know that meteorites contain amino acids, which are the building blocks of your proteins. And now from our research, uh, we can show that uh, nucleobases, which are the building blocks of your genetic material, like DNA and RNA, are also found in meteorites. And so these things together could have seeded an early Earth with these really important molecules that could have built up to the larger molecules you see today that are essential for biology.